friends welcome to another mod video today basically i'm gonna swap these two dials uh this is the mod i made earlier but it was on the shelf really long time already and no one ordered it so i think something is missing here even though i like the dial but something is missing yeah so i will try to replace by this dial i already made i already used this dial earlier but with submarine and also the block black version it looks pretty good let's see how it's gonna look like in tuna case um, today i'm gonna skip um, unnecessary parts so it's easier for you to watch and easier for me to make this video okay already opened the case i'm sure everybody knows how to do it so i just skip it and right now i'm gonna pull out the crown but uh, I just want to remind you that you have to do it in the correct way otherwise you're gonna screw up the keyless system and then you have to spend quite a lot of time disassembling all the movement and fixing that issue and if you do it first time it's gonna take a lot of your time yeah so do it the right way and the right way is just when you unscrew the crown don't pull it yet then make sure you find this tiny spot then you have to press on that spot and pull the crown afterwards. Press and hold. Just like that. The crown should come out really easy without much force. So if you cannot pull it out, then means maybe you press in the wrong spot or maybe not, not hard enough. Just recheck. Now let's open. Put the crown back and gain carefully. Don't force it. It should be easy. Then align the hands in one position. I still want this dial, so I will be using these to protect from any damage, from any scratches or anything else. Just like that. Use the proper set of tools. Okay. And now I'm gonna show you one problem that usually happens. Can maybe not usually, but sometimes happens with with the second hand as you can notice this second hand has a hole in it already and the rest that the small pin that was attached to the second hand it's still is still inside the movement and i noticed that when you try to remove the hands by using this tool for example and you do it do it not even like you apply more pressure from one side then this issue may happen but don't worry it's not something really bad i had a couple of people contacted me worrying how to fix this or you can throw the movement and buy a new one no it's not a problem at all i'm gonna show you a little bit later so right now, forget about that uh, that pin and just prepare for the next part. I will just say ahead. You don't need to throw your second hand. We're just gonna put it back. Very simple. So right now, let me remove the dial, which is on dial dot tape. As you can see, it is really sticky. It is not easy to remove it. Have to be very careful. Someone said earlier, someone wrote in comments that this is not a really good idea. The dial will not sit still on the moment. 
So I just recommend to that person try to remove the dial after you put it. It's not easy. Okay, finally. Yeah. Let's check the new dial. Looks really beautiful. Except I need to clean it from dust from somewhere. Just a moment. Okay, right now it is absolutely clean and even more beautiful. Then we have to cut the pins because unfortunately um, with this ground position we cannot use the pins on this dial. So I will have to cut them all by using uh, by using this simple method, the nail clippers. It does excellent job. As you can see, it can grip really close to the surface without leaving much. Now it looks like this. Clean and ready. Okay, after putting the dial dots on the moment, let's place the dial. Okay, it's done. Take a look at the date alignment. Make sure it's straight. Sometimes I notice that even I use dial with pins and put it on the movement, the date window may be still be a little bit misaligned. It's because of the angle of the pins a little bit, little bit wrong, and you have to correct it. It's also easy to do. You will figure out if you meet this problem. Okay, so now is the time to set the hands. Go hold until the date will be changed slowly. Okay, so this is midnight. Let's put our first hand. First, our hand goes here. Yeah, the loom on this original steel dive hands has a little bit green color. Maybe I will have to change the hands here. I'm not sure yet. But I really want to keep original one because they are really good and really bright. Let's check. Go 24 hours again and see when the date will be changed. As you can notice, it is already perfect midnight, but the date is still there. So I have to move it a little bit to the left. Just like that. I'll check one more time. Perfect. Yes. When you have markers like this, like say six o'clock, make sure that the hand doesn't touch that marker. Make sure there is straight horizontal line. The next minute hand I put when the hour hand is on six. Not 12, because if you put on 12, it's not, you cannot really see if those two hands are aligned together. But six, you will see. So first time just testing, don't push, don't push it too hard. 
Oops, I missed it. Six o'clock, perfect. Nine o'clock. Should be something like this. Let's move this hand. Okay, now it's more loose. So right now, nine o'clock looks perfect. Let's go at 12. Yes, perfect. Check six again. And six, perfect. Yes, that's a good result. You could notice that I don't check the date change yet because checking time is our priority. The date will be second priority. Right now, make sure the hands align properly. And in the moment, yes, almost perfect. I'm very happy when I see this day change. It's better than most of Seikos I've checked before. Okay. So now the second hand is ready. Um, let's try. In case it doesn't work, I have another set of hands prepared for this. But anyway, let's try. So what do you have to do? Just put it back. Can you some flat tool like, like this one? It works for me. That's it. First of all, you have to make sure that it's really in the center before you push it any further. Then take a look. The perfect alignment, the second hand, is in the right place. It walks. Everything like like normal. I'll push it a little bit more to make sure it sits properly. This time I can use another tool for the second hand. Just like that. If I'm sure it will not go anywhere. So basically it's done. We're now gonna close everything and show you the final result. Yep, and I was right. Take a look at this. Absolutely beautiful. The colors match perfectly. First I thought that the dial is a little bit darker than bezel, but no. It turns out to be just perfect. The chapter ring, the basil insert, everything matches perfectly. Gonna show you a bit more outside with the better light and the loom of this watch. Take a look at this beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. And in the sunlight. Nice. If you want to order this mode, you can contact me on Instagram or Facebook, where you feel more comfy. Uh, shortly about the specs of this watch. 47.5 mm case diameter, a ceramic bezel insert, uh, an H35 automatic movement, uh, waterproof 300 meters. Yeah, be sure it's, it's still waterproof, I seal it properly. Then sapphire glass, and what else? And of course, the stainless steel body and the bracelet. And in a second, you're gonna see the loom shots.
Here is the loom, and as you can see, it is also a pretty decent loom. The dial is not as bright as hands, but almost, almost there. Pretty nice. Thank you for watching everybody and see you in my future videos.